Hey everyone, it's Tally. I'm coming to you from my bedroom in the suburbs of Atlanta, Georgia, and you're watching 5 Girls 5 Minutes, 5 Girls Talk 5 Minutes, and don't edit the videos. It is Thursday. I am Tally, and I'm 22. What? what? Um, yeah, so my birthday was Monday, and it was awesome, and I'm sorry, my hair's like all over the place. I just, I don't think I brushed it very well. I was just like, hmm, put it up and flip. Um, so my birthday was amazing. Um, I, the Kings won Stanley Cup on my birthday, so that was exciting. Um, and my, my two best friends from school, uh, Catherine and Suzanne came over to watch the game and Catherine bought me cookies and cupcakes. So that was even more exciting. Uh, the game was kind of a blowout, which was good because the series has been like really stressful, <laughs> especially games four and five when the Devils won because like the Kings had a chance to close out and they just couldn't. Um, but I, and I was so worried that I was going to spend like th the last three hours of my birthday just going like, ah, ah, ah. but then they scored three times and um, made your penalty when they were on a power play and uh, it was good and people don't know what I'm talking about so I'm going to keep moving. Uh, my birthday was also good because I got this. <clears throat> this is my ukulele, my new one. Her name's Inara Faith uh, from the characters Inara from Firefly and Faith from Buffy and Angel. So, yep. This is what it is. It's uh, my parents got it for me in Tahiti when they were in Tahiti. Uh, it has eight strings, as you can see, and unlike um, I brought a comparison, so I could to explain this. So this is Anya, of course, um, and this is G C E A, which is the tuning of a ukulele. And this ukulele is also tuned to G C E A, but the C and E are a whole octave higher than they are on a standard ukulele, but you still play it like a regular ukulele, although you're supposed to really kind of use a pick and you're not supposed to strum slowly, you're supposed to kind of strum fast. And it's really loud and it kind of sounds like my mandolin, but I know how to play it unlike my mandolin, so that's exciting. Um, speaking of exciting and pretty things, uh, Tara, your new tattoo looks awesome. I'm so glad you showed it to us. Um, I just love that y there's like 800 levels of symbolism in having um, that particular bird, uh, Cardinal, right? Cardinal? Oh my god, I just watched this. Robin Cardinal. Cardinal. Um, my sister got an anchor tattoo a couple months ago, and like it fits in with like a million different things. And like um, the reason I like Anya so, like the name of my of Anya so much is that it's got like 18 levels of symbolism in it too. Um, and all my ukuleles kind of have, like, they just kind of, like, I have more than one meaning to the names of my ukuleles. Um, sometimes it's a pun, like, the one that has an echo in it, or Harmony. Um, but Dar but Harmony's full name is Darlene Harmony, and it's a character from my favorite book when I was younger, but Joss Whedon worked on Roseanne, which has a character named Darlene, and worked, of course, on Buffy and Angel, which had a character named Harmony, so I yeah so anyway so it's really cool that you've got like something that can represent so many things um and mean so much to you and i think it's in a great place um so um sarah was kind of talking about roles and groups of friends and kind of like tara i have more than one group of friends and i have more than one kind of role i mean the one thing i will say is like i'm not i don't have like this big group of friends my sister does my sister went to a very small private high school and so basically all of the girls in her class hang out all the time they I mean like seriously it's kind of like Tara was talking about how she doesn't really um <laughs> she uh, she has kind of felt like lonely or whatever like there's not really anyone around my sister is the complete opposite of that problem right now like she has just been out with her friends like every single night like sleepovers and everything like seriously I don't even think some of these people have been home in a week and a half because they've just been hanging out with my sister nonstop. so she has like that one solid group of friends and she's like the fun one like she kind of ends up orchestrating a lot of things that they do and just kind of is like, okay, yeah, let's go do this. And they, and you know, like, let's go watch Twilight again. Trust me, my sister is always the one who says, let's go watch Twilight again. Um, they like making fun of it. So, but for me, I'm more of like a floater. Um, and so I have like, I don't really have like a group of friends, like generally, like, like I'll have like two friends that I, that are close to each other and that I'm close to as well, but then they have like their own little branches of other groups of friends that like I kind of sort of know, but like don't really know. Um, so yeah, I tend to kind of have like my little groups. Um, so I don't really have a role. I mean, I guess I'm more of like the crazier one out of the people I hang out with. Um, so yeah, and I'm most of the time like, why the hell do these people hang out with me? So, but, um, yeah, they do hang out with me. Uh, my friend Rachel gets back from Peru in a couple weeks, so that's exciting, and we're going to watch the Tony Awards. Um, 
My so my, that kind of ties into my question. My friend Rachel and I have watched the Tony Awards like every year for the past like six years, except for once. Um, and then this year, of course, she's in Peru, so I'm DVRing them, and then we're gonna watch them when she comes back. Um, so do you have any like traditions like that that um, that like they don't seem like that big of a deal, like watching the Tony Awards with someone isn't like the end of the world if you don't do it, but like you kind of feel your, like if you miss it, like it feels weird, and so you have to like kind of try to make it up. Um, and I'm not talking like strong family traditions like Thanksgiving or like holidays, nothing like holiday related, just kind of like things that you do every year with your friends and like as you get older and you have to adapt them, like how, anyway, that's kind of what I'm getting at. Um, I hope everyone has a great week and I will see you all next Thursday. Bye.